These are the stories that keep me up at night. The missing, the murdered, the mysteries that have gone unsolved in our own backyards. I've reported on crime in North Texas for more than 25 years. And now I'm opening my reporter's notebook to you, revisiting cold cases, retracing steps, and revealing evidence we've never seen before. Doris Ojeda was a mom. She was a former model, beloved in the community. Well, she was beautiful, but she was intelligent and very caring, very empathetic. Doris's family owned an electric company. They were electricians, and she helped run that business. She lived for her family. And she said that's what she wanted to do rather than, than pursue the modeling career. Doris was married to Raymond Ojeda. His family and him owned Ojeda's restaurant, very popular Mexican restaurant in North Texas. Doris and Raymond Ojeda had a very strong marriage by all accounts. They were devoted to their children who were both in private schools. Police said there was nothing they could find in her background that would have made her a target as a crime victim. I saw the tail end of a light-colored SUV headed northbound on Haydale. Then I heard someone call for help. Doris and Raymond decided to go for a walk around Gooch Elementary School in North Dallas. And as they're walking around the elementary, a vehicle pulls up, an SUV, opens fire, and shoots Doris five times. Oh, shoot, there's somebody down right here. Oh, God, oh, somebody's just been shot. Neighbors say they heard a volley of shots, and they heard somebody scream, and that was it. Raymond is untouched. He does not get shot. I feel they were probably shooting in the direction of both people and just happened to uh, that Mrs. Uh, Ojeda was struck. He sort of turned and, and observed the flashes of the gun muzzle. We had video that day after the shooting and you see Raymond in the vehicle where he is then taken away by Dallas police and questioned. During that questioning and for months afterwards, they asked Raymond if he would take a polygraph test and he refused, never would take it. We interviewed Raymond two years after the murder. Only one window was open, I think, and that's where I saw the muzzle of the gun and the flash. And before you know it, just things, I just heard some shots and heard doors go down. And I kind of jumped down next to her and, and then they just kind of took off. I was going crazy, I was in shock and didn't know what to do, calling 911. They told me to try to stop the bleeding and stuff. I asked him who he thought killed his wife in this interview. Did you see their, anybody's face? No, or I just could saw you even like tell the outline it? of a face and, and I'm thinking, I have to say that I think it was a Hispanic person, but I, you know, just because of the type of haircut I thought they had. We also asked him about being a suspect because the Dallas Police Department did consider him a suspect and they never cleared him as a suspect. Yeah, there for a while they wanted you to take a lie detector test. Did you ever end up taking that or? No, my attorney suggested against it, but I don't know, I might consider it. In fact, Dallas Police told us that he wanted to be cleared as a suspect so he could claim some life insurance that they had on Doris. But the Dallas Police Department, because he refused to take a polygraph, never cleared him as a suspect in this case. And he never did want to take the polygraph, so I, I, the insurance would contact me and I say, well, I can't, I cannot tell you whether he did or didn't have anything to do with it. Armando Perez is a former Dallas police officer. He was one of the first detectives on this case. That's unusual for, for someone to actually end up uh, shooting her five times and not shooting him at all. That, that kind of stands out on it. Perez thinks that this was most likely a hit because the suspect, they believe, used a revolver. If you look at the fact that it's gonna be a revolver, I would take it as someone that already knows the fact that, hey, I'm gonna go out and do something. Let's go ahead and use a revolver because there won't be any shell cases that would, they can trace it back to me. The Dallas Police Department continued to try to link 
uh, Raymond Ojeda to his wife's murder, but they were not able to link any physical evidence or anyone that he might have been associated with to this murder. officially considered a cold case because they ran out of leads. They haven't had anything new that's happened in this case for probably 15, 16 years. After we started questioning and asking questions at the Dallas Police Department about Doris O'Head, this is case, they did assign this case now to a new cold case detective. Well, now we just hope that um, anybody that may have saw what happened or, or heard somebody or spoken to somebody about it that may have knowledge about the case would be willing to come forward and, um, and call me and give me some information about what they saw or what they heard. Somebody, some soulless being is out there and I just hope that there's somebody around them that has a, a soul that will help close this case.